evening, ladies and gentlemen. We've got Andrew Nokia at the top table. Um, start with Longani. And I make my habit of these uh, cutting visuals. Um, what were your plans? You made them look a lot simpler than some of the guys that are more expected to be doing the batting. Yeah, I think it's quite similar to the um, Centurion innings as well. Just trying to stay in there for as long as possible. Um, not really about scoring runs for me. It's about just facing a few balls, as many as possible. And um, yeah, I was really happy just being out there and being able to take some time out the game and just actually face some balls and yeah, not forcing any runs, trying to get some runs, obviously. But yeah, just trying to take as many balls as possible. Seems to be a lot of pride in you, even when you were dismissed as late as it was. You seem very disappointed in the fact that you were out. Yeah, I really enjoy batting. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, it's really something I've been trying to work on as hard as possible, and um, with Bouch as well, doing different things, um, even working on short ball, whatever it might be. But it's really nice to just try and improve and. Um, or sort of seeing the results. So it's not maybe the runs now, but it's just the balls face. So it's just nice to to be out there and actually face some balls. Can you introduce Daniel and Tunis? Uh, Andrew, Cormac, uh, you, you mentioned Daniel not trying to bat and not trying to force things, not trying to force runs. And obviously you managed to stay out there a lot longer than most of the top order. Do, do you feel that it, it's maybe top order bats are under sort of pressure to try and score runs if they sort of try trying to force things and, and that and that's what's getting them into trouble rather than just saying we'll just face up any balls like you did. Yeah, it's a difficult one because they always they've always got a challenge and they've always got a not sort of take the game forward but there's sort of a, a little bit of a bigger battle between them and, and bowler um rather than me who's just trying to sort of whether I get a half volley, sometimes I still block it. For them, it's about playing naturally as well in stages. And um, unfortunately, one or two, one or two dismissals um, that we could have maybe prevented. But at the end of the day, that's also natural for them to play the way they do. So it's difficult to compare. Yeah, um, yeah. There was, like you say, there was quite, quite good intent. Um, even, even Quinn in our at the end as well. Him and Vern, there was good intent from them all the time. And um, just one or two things didn't go away, I suppose. Um, I'm not too sure how or whatever how they want to play it. Um, I'm not in the batting meeting. I can tell you that. <laughs> um, <laughs> So I'm not too sure how they want to go about their things and, and what they want to do, but um, maybe one or two things could have gone differently and then uh, we, yeah, we could have, whether it's take him out the attack or whether it's just playing him positively or better, I don't know. Um, but yeah, unfortunately it didn't go our way. Yeah, there were one or two, prob probably one or two good dismissals. Um, I think Dean's one, I can't remember all of them, but Dean's one was definitely, was quite, you don't know whether to play for the spin or not at stages. Um, also one or two probably got ourselves out. So a eh, little bit both ways. I can't really say um, we gave all our, we, we definitely didn't give all our wickets away. It's just about those one or two that um, we might have played better at that stage. And what was your experience as the youth was To me, I was just trying to, trying to get it down. Um, most of the balls, he was trying to get um, the guys on the leg side into play. So just trying to avoid them and, and try and hit the ground as quick as possible. Um, not sort of played in the air. That was, yeah, that was my main, main focus, is trying to just stay in.
<laughs> I, was, I was waiting for this question. <laughs> um, yeah, I've been called that for quite a long time. It's <laughs> just the first time it was on air. But um, yeah, like you said, the characteristics, I think um, what they refer to is, and I take it as a compliment in the, in, in the sense of um, trying to go out there and fight and, and come hard and, and sort of be aggressive, but yeah, just with a lot of heart. Um, and it's something that I do try and um, sort of, if pride myself is the word to go, go with, um, sort of when conditions get tough, uh, when it's 40 degrees or whatever, try and be the guy to run in and, and, and come hard, try and make things happen with a ball in hand, not really with a bat, but um, when I do get the opportunity, if I have to take a few blows or whatever it might be, I'll, I'm willing to do that. And I, yeah, I think that's what he was probably referring to. Yeah, if I'm if I'm correct, uh, probably a bit harsh, but I think Newlands he also dropped was it one or two, so it is it. <laughs> so it is it is natural. I mean, he's taken some unbelievable catches. Um, he's an unbelievable fielder as well. Really talented. Um, it's probably going to happen. You're probably going to get those days, and yeah, <laughs> that's just cricket. The one day you get a first baller. The next day you score 100, whatever it is. So that's just cricket as well. Um, I'm sure next tomorrow you'll be you'll be ready again to take a few grabs in the slips. Andrew, Carl, Andrew Carl, I presume you know this wicket as well as anyone. Uh, what, what have you made of it over the last few days, and what do you expect over the next two days? Yeah, we've played quite a lot of. I've played quite a lot of domestic games, yeah, and generally there's a little bit of tendency for the ball to keep low. Um, we haven't really seen that too often. Um, whether it's also, I spoke about a little bit earlier as well, whether it's just the different conditions. We've had some overcast conditions the whole time. Um, not really that windy, not that much sun. Um, and also just there's been a drought in, in the Eastern Cape for quite a long time. Whether that plays a role, I don't know. Um, so it still plays. It's still definitely playing a bit slowish, but we have, luckily we haven't seen too many balls stay low. So that's definitely something I think um, going forward in this test that might start to play a factor. Um, whether the ball will be spinning a little bit more, I'm not too sure. But it doesn't really, in general, spin quite a lot. It's just there's always just something in it for spinners. It's not really. Um, yeah, going from offside to to leg slip or whatever it is. So, I think the ball staying low is quite a big thing, and and hopefully it doesn't play a role um, in this test. Mark, and then last to Telford and Ken. Okay, Ken, South Africa is still back for two days and save the test. Yeah, we're positive we can. Um, we just spoke about it as well. If, if we have to fight and we have to do what we have to do, then so then we do that. Um, we're not going to be worried about if there's weather around. Um, we're not going to be worried about that. We, we're going to come out here and, and, and focus on the next two days fighting, whatever it might be, whatever we have to do um, to draw this test match. Um, we're going to be up for that. So we believe in it, yeah. Um, what's, it, uh, what's it like trying to get into line to play so many bowls? 150 kilometers an hour like Mark Wood. And, and, and having done so, do you have some sympathy? <laughs> yeah, I saw that a comparison on the big three, and I was actually more interested in that um, while I was batting than anything else. But um, yeah, it's it, it's an interesting thing. I was I haven't really in my career so far had to had to deal with that, and it does give me a bit of confidence that sort of I can do it. Um, obviously, it's a little bit of a slow wicket. We'll see on different wickets, but. Um, it's nice to be able to do that. It's not not the nicest thing. I'm not going to lie, but um, we're definitely improving every day and working hard with with Boucher and the, the the staff to just try and improve on one or two small things. And even if it's pace, um, we're just trying to get better every day. Like I said, I I really enjoy batting, and it's something I want to improve. Um, 
And yeah, just try and take it day by day, step by step. And do you have sympathy for Bella's No. <laughs> <laughs> no.